Hey guys, it's Kezin. I wanted to make something that I thought would be a little fun. It's the average use time of um, the 1.0 epics. And this isn't like um, just equipping the epic. This is kind of including both the stats and mainly like what's the effect on it? What's the clicky on it? How good is it? Good? How long is it good for? And I have it mapped out only to Omens of War after that. I try to cut my content off at Omens of War, at least for right now, just because there's so many expansions. I don't want to like have some content that goes farther, some that... Um, only goes to Omen, so it's easier for me just to cut it off at Omens of War. So I have it cut off there, and I have these in the order of priority of how long they're useful. And, you know, there might be a couple in here. You can swap them around a little bit. You can make an argument either way. But ultimately, you have to make a decision if you're going to make a video, right? So here at the top, we have the Cleric. Um, you get a res clicky from the Cleric Epic, and this is going to be a very good clicky all the way until they get the AA um, version of the res. And I think that's not maybe until like Underfoot or maybe it's Secrets of Fadeware. I don't really know. But it's going to be your best all the way through Omens of War for sure. And so we got Cleric here top on the list. Uh, second is the Bard Epic. Um, this one will give you an instrument mod for every single instrument type. This is really nice to have. And it does kind of get replaced starting in Planes of Power and Gates of Discord. You start to see some like actual regular item slots have instrument mods on them. So uh, slowly over time the 1.0 Epic... Oh, epic will get replaced and in omens of war you actually get the 2.0 epic so that will just replace it straight out anyway but uh yeah so all the way up through luckland it's super good and then it's still really good for alts if you don't have like um all the instrument mods from these expansions it's still really good item for alts all the time so uh the bard 1.0 epic is one of the second most useful one uh probably the second uh next we have the monk epic and this is a best in slot in kunark uh, just because the ratio on it is so good and also i think it used to be what's the ratio on it now is it i don't want to guess because i don't remember the top of my head but it's a good ratio and um it, slow, it gets a little bit less uh useful in scars of Ilias, it, will, it will get replaced by like a regular weapon but the clicky is still really good um it gives you 40 percent haste clicky so and this is kind of again this is something else that just kind of fades out over time um, in Planes of Power, there's the Monk Ornament Gloves, which will have the same effect um, as this Epic. So you can either kind of do either or there. And by the time you're um, moving along here, the only thing you're really going to use it for is the Haste. So uh, it's probably the third most useful one, you know, as, as far as how long it will last. Just kind of depends on your situation though, right? And then uh, next we have the Ranger Epic. Uh, this has a, one sword has a Haste, uh, Worn Haste on it with some attack. And the other one has a slow proc. The slow proc is going to be really good for pretty much ever. Um, it's you're going to want to get your Ranger 1.0 epic as a as a Ranger just so you can get that slow proc. That's pretty much priceless. That's good for a really long time, all the way through Omens of War certainly. And uh, before that, the uh, the Worn Haste on the other sword is really good, and um, the Worn Attack on it is good, especially if you're like using a bow. If you're, if you're not at the attack cap and you're under geared. It's a nice item you can get to get some extra attack. Uh, the Mage Epic, this is where thing, things start to cut off a little bit. Um, it's, it's the best pet in the game all the way through Shadows of Luckland, but once Planes of Power comes out, it becomes totally worthless uh, because the Planes of Power pets will replace it. But uh, if you're anywhere within these three areas, you definitely want to do uh, the Mage Epic. It's really, really strong. Um, next is the Enchanter Epic. Um, this is... It's not like a, it's it's a really good stat stick in Kunark, but it's not like a mandatory item that you have to get it. The clicky on it is uh, is a clicky haste, which is going to increase your quality of life quite a bit. But uh, again, once Planes of Power comes out, the clicky does get replaced by uh, the Elemental Pants um, in Planes of Power, which will give you a uh, which will give you a better haste. But uh, the the epic is still really good because. Um, the haste clicky on the epic, you can cast it on level 1s. So it's really useful for power level and people and things like that. And for that, I think it's just a really nice item to have in general. Again, it's not 100% necessary, but it's just a really fun tool to have. And as an enchanter, you're going to want to get this done at some point. Uh, the warrior epic is basically going to be your best in slot for uh, Kunark. They're really good aggro weapons. Um, they look really cool. Like Everybody loves these. And uh, one of them has the hate proc. You can turn them into a two-hander. You can do all kinds of different things like that. So in Kunark, they're extremely good. So there's dark purple for Kunark for sure. 
And then, like, better weapons just start to come out over time in the different expansions. Like, in Scars of Felix, you got Blade of Carnage. In Shadows of uh, Luckland, you got a few different options. You got, like, Blood Frenzy. Um, you got the, the Cursed Sword, whatever that's called. And then, basically, once Planes of Power comes out, uh, you're not really going to be using it. Unless you're really undergeared, you're not really going to be using it at all. And once you're in Gates of Discord, you certainly aren't going to be using your 1.0 Epic. Um, so moving on to the wizard, this has a, a rune clicky on it. However, it has a really long cast time. And off the top of my head, I think it's 20 seconds. Let's go over here. We get the wizard here. Uh, 15 seconds. So it's a 15 second cast time. And you'll see it casts barrier or force, which is basically a rune. And that rune will get replaced by force shield and planes of power. So it gets a lot less useful in planes of power. And... Uh, yeah, so it just gets worse over time, and in Kunark, it's best in slot for the stats. And it's a good, strong clicky in Kunark. Uh, the Shaman has a damage over time spell. Let's go over to Shaman over here, and you can kind of see what it does. So this is going to give you a, uh, a dot that increase, it starts at low damage, and it gets higher every tick until it ticks for like a certain amount. And it's actually a pretty good dot um, in, um, in Kunark era. And again, it's just one of those things that fade out over time. Probably by Shadows of Luckland, you're probably not going to be using the click very much. Um, it does look cool though, but we're not talking, this isn't a chart on what looks the coolest, this is a chart on what's the most useful. And uh, it's not very good in groups either, because the casting time on this thing, where are we at? Right here, is 9 seconds, so it's going to take you a while even to cast the spell, and then you have to wait for the dot to ramp up. So in a group, it's pretty useless. If you're soloing, you know, it has some uses nowadays, uh, but back in the day, it used to be a lot better than it is now. Uh, next we have the Rogue Epic, and this is best in slot for Kunark, but once Scholars of Vilius comes out, it uh, gets replaced pretty quickly. There's a lot of good, uh, like, Temple of Vishen weapons, for instance, so if you raid, you're probably going to be replacing this. And uh, it's got 40 attack on it and 40% haste, so maybe if you want to move it to your offhand for a while during uh, Scars of Vilius, that's a popular thing to do until you're able to get two good weapons from Scars of Vilius. And pretty much by luck when you're going to have so many weapon choices that you're not going to be using your rogue epic anymore. Um, after that we have Druid. And the Druid epic is... Let's see if we can look at the stats here. It's got good stats for Kunark, so it's going to be your, probably your best Kunark weapon. But again, it's like the Shaman weapon. It's got 9 second cast time on this thing. And it's really just... It doesn't tick for that much. Um, I think it's only 55 per tick is what I was looking at. I didn't actually log into the game and like look at it or anything. But it's pretty low, so... You're probably never really going to use this dot for much of anything unless you're like on a raid boss. Maybe you might stack it. Uh, but once you get into later expansions, you're really not going to be using it. So, um, yeah, so that's the Druid Epic. Not not very that not that important, but it is a cool class defining graphic on it. Uh, same with the Necromancer Epic here. Now, this one will give you a snare and a dot. It's kind of like Dooming Darkness type line, but it has a nine second casting time on this too. So... Honestly, I would love to see them reduce the cast time on some of these, like the Druid, the Shaman, and the Necromancer ones. If they reduce the cast time of these, to maybe like three and a half seconds even, that would be awesome. Like, that would be really cool. Um, I wish they would do that, because nowadays, these stuff with long cast times, it's mostly worthless. Um, but yeah, so Necromancer one, it's not a high priority, but it is Biss and Kunark. Uh, Shadow Knight, if you want to use a two-hander, it's a pretty good ratio for Kunark, so probably gonna be, it's gonna be i think it's your best two-hander for kunark era after that when vilius comes out it's pretty much not your bis anymore it's comparable to some of the vilius raid weapons um but the thing with knights is you're mostly wearing a shield so it's it's not really going to help you a whole lot if you're tanking unless you're super over geared um but it does have like a nice little dot on it that will also heal you and uh you can also bash while you're using uh uh, this two, that's, you can use two-handed bash with this, so, you know, that's kind of nice, I guess, but again, it's not a must-have. Um, same with the Paladin Epic here. Uh, the Paladin Epic is what we have next. Um, once you hit Julius, you're probably not going to be using it, just because of the fact it's a two-hander and you're going to want to be using your shield most of the time. But it does a proc stun on it, and again, you can use uh, bash while you have this two-hander equipped, so that's kind of cool. Um, after that, are the two classes that don't come out until later so this was kind of tricky to put this on a graph for uh, for beast lord is the first one it doesn't come out until shadows of luckland uh beast lords don't but you get a kunark era weapon 
and but the problem is you're already in shadows of Luckland. So by the time you're there, unless you're really under geared, you're probably really not going to need these. So you'll see um, the main hand, which is the one on the left. It's going to give you a uh, attack speed, um, a slow proc on it. So that's kind of nice. But Beast Lords get slow too. So whether you're going to use this or not, it's pretty situational. Odds are you're probably not going to use this. Um, if you're in Shadows of Luckwind, especially if you're in a raiding guild, you're going to find a lot better weapons than these. And then the one on the uh, left, the secondary, that does have a haste on it. So maybe if you need a haste item, that's 40%. It's not a bad option. But again, this is mostly if you're under gear or if you're going to be on an alt. And lastly, we have the Berserker weapon. Uh, but Berserkers don't come out until, until Gates of Discord. And again, it's a Kunark Arrow weapon. It's pretty good for Kunark Arrow, but since you can't make a Berserker until Gates of Discord, really the only reason you're going to use this axe is if you're trying to get to the 2.0 epic and you're in uh, you're in uh, Omens of War. So this is like a pre-requirement for that if you don't do the bypass quest. But I recommend just doing this. I think this and the bypass quests are actually pretty similar. So it's really the only use here. So I got that at the bottom of the list is because you're probably not going to use this for anything. But that pretty much wraps up my list. Um, let me know if you like this video. If you do, please like it and please subscribe. All right, thanks guys. Bye.